Water hyacinths may look pretty, but they create problems. Over the past few decades, the invasive and pernicious weed has been choking Nigeria's waterways and lagoons. It's become a serious problem for fishing communities along the rivers. Fishermen like Idowu Wasi Odaoto are in despair. We come all the way from Makoko, and when we get here, we can't find any fish to catch. They all hide among the water hyacinths. When we cast out nets, they get caught in the weeds. The plants were a great nuisance for us. It seems there's no way to get rid of this invasive plant. It has no natural enemies here, and it's spreading unhindered in this foreign ecosystem. Ido has just learned that he can harvest and sell these weeds to a social enterprise. I don't even have money to cut my hair or to shave. It's these water hyacinths. Now that I discovered I can sell them, I'm going to sell them all. The plant thrives in warm climates and in water with low levels of salt. In Lagos lagoons, it doubles in size every two weeks. I'm glad that what was reasons before is now a blessing to me. The collected water hyacinths end up on Achenyo Idachaba's doorstep in Ibadan. In 2009, she left her corporate career in the U.S. and created the eco-enterprise Mitimeth. Here, she turns the alien plant into a thriving business. Initially, when water hyacinth was discovered uh, and actually originated from the Amazon, people thought it was an ornamental plant because of this beautiful uh, purple flower that we have on here. But little did we know it was far from an ornamental plant. Uh, instead, it is an invasive aquatic weed. Decomposing water hyacinths pose another threat to the climate. They produce methane, a potent greenhouse gas, which has 21 times the global warming potential of carbon dioxide. Thanks to Achenyo's creativity, these dried stems of the water hyacinths are converted into usable and decorative objects. The processing is cheap and simple. After three to four days, we have it in dry form. 95% of that water has evaporated. And what we have now is 5% of dry weight. We uh, transform in two ways. We either flatten the weed and use it for things like mats and uh, notepad covers, or we uh, make rope from it. The transformation takes place at her factory. Achenyo helps the community by creating job opportunities through innovative handcrafted products. In the past two years, they harvested and processed more than 25 metric tons of water hyacinths and turned them into art pieces for sale. In doing this research, I found that water hyacinth was not completely a problem without a solution. There are actually several solutions. And out of the several solutions that I discovered, I zeroed in on handcrafts, simply because I like handcrafts. And I also figured that if I was going to proffer this solution, it has to be a solution that people could relate to. We can't think of Training and regular workshops within the communities are key components of Achenyo's success. The weed-based products range from furniture to lamps and personal accessories. The turnover in 2010 was just $20. It's risen to $25,000 today, primarily from domestic sales. 140 kilometers north of Lagos, Idowu hopes for a better livelihood. I'll sell them all off. They disturb us, these water hyacinths. They disturb us a lot. There are many of us suffering from this. We're many, way too many. Not a single one of us can find any fish anymore. But now Idowu Wasio Daoto and his fellow fishermen have hope. Even though they're still struggling to find fish to support their families, the water hyacinths are not as threatening as they were before. They've become a new source of income.